Fine, I'll log out. Just make more work for you. Fine, I will literally. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna have to cut out some random clip that had literally starts and stops in the most weirdest of times. He's also about to piss, so unless you really want some piss in AMO. <laughs> I need Stop my that. users to know that pissing AM ASMR is about to happen. Possibly happen. Who knows? Uh, really get some people off. Who knows? Hey, look. I don't doubt if me and you really tried on OnlyFans about certain topics. But we, you know, we kept our face oh, out. We kept all in all. Speaking of that, but um, <laughs> speaking of OnlyFans, um, <laughs> speaking so, of. So guess who's actually? Well, it is currently. Quote unquote, playing to see if they can make an OnlyFans. Oh my god, is it exactly who I think it is? Thank you, Gaff. Judai. Oh. No. Oh. No, 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 no. Wyatt. No, it's fucking Markiplier. Oh my, okay, okay, okay. I actually saw that. Um, yeah, I saw that. Um, he's yeah. making it. He's doing it for a charity, which I get it. Oh, god, I, I mean. Okay, look, I love Markiplier, and I like that he wants to do it. But, under the conditions he has, I, I, I don't like the fact that it's such a... It's such a call to subscribe, to listen to all that. And yes, I get it. I mean, I don't doubt... That when if I ever do get, you know, a lot of followers, I probably would pro I'm letting everyone know I will probably bend my own morals too. But I'm also not one to like overly go be like, hey, do this, do this, do this. I don't like telling people what to do. I will suggest, I will obviously probably be like, hey, maybe you want to listen to this. But I'll but, but I don't think I'll ever do something like that. To be like, hey, we have to... Now, maybe he's joking. Maybe he's not. Maybe he really is like, hey, two conditions. Make him happen. I love him. I do love him. <laughs> oh, you're cutting out big time. Like that. Oh, the ASMR. Static. Yeah. It's just... Wait, wait, what'd you say about him? Uh, you kind of cut out like hell there for a second. Yeah, so. The reason why, you know, we did it up in this world is because it's a weakness scenario. Yeah, it is. But I don't, I don't want to see him go that route of being such a, of, of legitimately being like, hey, let's bring it to the number one. And I get it. If you, now, to be fair, to be fair, he has 33.7 million subscribers to his YouTube. He could probably easily... <laughs> oh, yeah, kids. It's just one of those things, though. Yes, it's a win-win, but that is... It's not a low blow. And yes, he's doing it for a good cause. You see, you're getting the fact he's already done this uh, yeah, he has. I, I think he did that with his um. He I think he explained he did that with his uh the calendar. Yeah. That he sold thirty-eight thousand signed copies of. Oh yeah, damn. Not just copies in general, signed. Copies. Oh yeah, he did that in I think eight days. It said it took him. God. That, that... Yeah, he signed all the. So he, he signed copies in eight days. Damn. That, that's impressive. I'll give him that. But again, I get that he's done it before. And he probably, he has the people, I think, enough to do it, like, regardless. But I don't know. I, it's such a... It's, it's a fucking... Yeah, it just shows three things. One, that's why it's because it's such a business. It's such a business thing, though. That's why. That's why I hate it. Because it's such a business tactic. And not... So here's the thing, is that, you know, they've already done this before. They've already, you know, gotten distractible to number one something. Yeah, I'm sure. Am I cutting out again? Uh, no, you're good. Okay, because I'm in the stairwell now. Oh, no, it does vibrate, though, and I love it. It sounds great. Well, man, is that, no, they've already done this once. You know, they've already gotten it 
to, you know, spot one on Spotify before. Ah, damn, yeah, you're right. And, you know, they've already, you know, they just have to do it again because they've gotten close on, you know, I think they had it for a, I think they said it, I think they said it, he, they had it for a day, which, hey, I'm impressed. No, yeah, they had it for a day. That's, that's pretty good. Because, I mean, Joe, yeah, hey, hey, Joe there, man. I, d I don't even watch him, but I, from what I know, he is number one. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a he such has this fucking social influence. Oh, yeah. I'm so, uh, what? Because no, actually, isn't that... Gets is that everyone on. Yeah. Because relatively relatable topics and stuff like you know, People have general interest in that being, you know, listening to high people talk. <laughs> I said, they've been smoking a weed the entire time. Oh, yeah, I forgot they are. Which, I mean, hey, to That's the entire premise of it. Oh. The Joe, the Joe Ro Okay, I like that because it technically means that they should be their real selves. Well, maybe not with weed. Maybe, maybe it would be better if they had alcohol. Which, I think they do, actually. But, because alcohol is the great, um, depressant? Or, I can't remember which one it does. All I know is it- Oh, depressants. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, because they relax you, they relax you. But you know, alcohol is the great, um, oh, uh, well, not invoker, um, God, what's the word? Not toxic. Revealer? Yeah, revealer. Revealer of person. Because, not, because if two people are, you know, almost drunk and talking, they're gonna be honest. And when I say honest, I mean, no, if you they are. This fucking LSD turns your brain into like a fucking brain of like a six-year-old. You fucking talk about anything like no fucking filter. I would love. Okay, I would never want the only to do drugs. The reason why they can't do it is because LSD is illegal everywhere. <laughs> I mean, hey, the reason why we can't do it is obvious. We we'll go to prison. <laughs> we we go to prison if we do that. Yeah, no, you know, there's there's no state in the union. And various countries abroad, really, where LSD is legal. God, that's actually interesting. I mean, I think cocaine. Is LS, I think cocaine yeah. is the same way. Is LSD in that league bad for you? To some degree, it's no, it's yes. Yeah, I think it, different effects. It is a synthetic chemical. Mm, oh, but yeah. The kicker with LSD is that it's non addictive. Really. Interesting. Yes, it is inherently not addictive. Ah, okay, it's not addictive. So that means a person would have so, to have the personality trait of addiction. Interesting. Well, yeah, but it is still dangerous to some degree, especially if, you know, you yourself get hooked on the feeling of being, you know, high on LSD. Yeah, so, so that would be a hundred... It's unlikely, but if you're likely to be addicted to one substance, yeah, if you have a... Like yeah, that's... But here's how it works. Here's how it works. Thanks, Swagger's goal for my understanding of LSD. Oh my god, I I love that you brought him up. Oh my god, I love that. Please explain. But yeah, um... But, so here's how it works. You know, I've done my own research, you know, you know, on this, so this is... Wait, let's preface, wait, wait, let's preface this. Please tell the world why I should or should not have LSD. So, the reason why <laughs> you should not use LSD mm -hmm. is because it is a synthetic chemical. Mm -hmm. It is not produced anywhere organically. Ah, shame. And therefore, it is inherently bad. Ah, fair because enough. Because it alters the chemical and physical state of your brain. Um, yeah, so that's why it's bad for you. The reason why you should do LSD, or one of its many cousins being mm -hmm. magic mushrooms, ah. or just mushrooms in general, oh, yeah. um, it's a very similar, yeah, it's a very similar, um, chemical breakdown of very similar effects. For honesty, LSD is probably a whole lot more, you know, extravagant because it's a whole lot more of a chemical, while mushrooms is a whole lot more diluted. But it's more natural for that. Mm. So, the way that these cycle hallucinogenics work is the following. So, when the chemical 
gets to one of your neuroreceptors. Mm -hmm. It basically almost turns it in on itself oh. and allows for a whole lot more chemical reception of dopamine, serotonin. Oh, so it opens it up. No, these it, other things. Oh, what is it, though? I know the word but, for it. Fuck. Damn it. I, I know what it does. Yeah, that's interesting. He's out of psychology school for one minute and he forgets all what he wants. I will not admit nor deny that statement. <laughs> <laughs> so, the reason how this works is that the reason why it's not addictive is that when that chemical gets onto your brain, it permanently defaces that receptor, but then that receptor can no longer receive any of that chemical, any more of the LSD. So essentially, you're shut out. Isn't that, that dangerous of, of, long that term? That one chemical cannot accept any more LSD. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why it burns if you out. take, like, probably half a tab of LSD, your first time, you fucking go all over it. You're, you're gone. You're having fun for, like, probably 12 hours. Sounds like fun. You do it again the next day, but you should not do LSD more than, like, <laughs> One day in a row. Hey kids, if you have the plan to do this, at least don't do it two days in a row. No, 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 no. one day in a row. Oh, one day. We can't even, you know, advertise two days in a row. One day at most. <laughs> at most, kids, come on. But, Be smart. <laughs> but the way that it works is that the reason why it's not addictive is that it permanently deforms that receptor. <laughs> So that's why reception of the LSD. Yeah, that makes wow. I didn't. That's interesting because that means, unlike everything else, you will not get addictive. But if you're not smart, essentially, it's just straight up your own stupidity because it will slowly destroy your brain. It will literally. Yes, but I'm not. I'm not done. Oh. Is that the reason why it's dangerous? You say that it's addictive. Is that it has. Diminishing returns. Mm, oh. LSD has diminishing returns. Yeah, because you get a mute. Oh. So if you take the same amount that you took the first time, you'll have less of a trip or none at all. Because your brain is already used to it, it no longer has enough receptors for that dose. Interesting. So to get the exact same experience, you need to increase the dosage. You mean immunization, when so, you slowly get more immune to something? Well, it's not immunization. Well, it's definitely not that. Yeah, okay. I don't think. You just cannot receive any more LSD. It just bungles around in your brain, not hitting anything, and eventually just, you know, gets its half life enough and dies. <laughs> and then just dies. <sighs> yeah, no. So, okay, listen, I, I don't know if it's linear or, ex or, exper or exponential, but. Need to have more to get the exact same experience. Um, it's exactly what you do and with that's caffeine. Why, it's the and same. That's why people say it's addictive. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's interesting because, because that's, the, that's the same rule for caffeine, essentially. Except the only difference. No, yeah, almost the exact same thing as caffeine. The only difference is you actually destroy the nerves along. Oh, no, no, yeah. You deform the nerves. Mm -hmm. Caffeine just that shit. Yeah. Yeah, you actually alter the nerves mm. when it comes to um the LSD and all that shit. Mm. So to in, so to get the exact same experience twice in a row. So again, don't do this. <laughs> Kids, but don't you do take this. LSD within two time periods to get the exact same experience that the, that you had first time you need to take plus an amount the second time. Oh yeah yeah make hmm. okay <laughs> what I got trapped but then I had to use my ability to kill a bunch of creatures because they pinned me in the corner and decided to fuck my ass. Hmm. What are you playing? Borderlands 3. Oh, 
Mm, yeah. Cre uh, these little rodents um, literally somehow are big enough to just pin you against the wall and go, all right, boy, bend over. <sighs> shame, shame. But yeah, that's a very interesting uh, sci scientific lesson about LSD. I, I think a lot of people are going to learn. I think a lot. Maybe, maybe too much. Who knows? We'll figure that out. Three subscribers. 14, thank you. <laughs> Fourteen feet. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually been losing. I lost one, and then I lost a few views. But I also think it's either because they either got banned or the system was just like, oh, I don't know. We either thought this was see because I think I don't. The weirdest thing is YouTube has a really weird, not algorithm, but when they process your video and you upload it, if you watch your own video, I think they accidentally count that sometimes as a view. So obviously, if you watch your own video like more than once you might accidentally bump up the number more than you really uh more, more than it really is it's whatever i'm happy with my life they said i can do it they said nothing is either way god this was all because of school all because of pike and school and all that shit and i'm still surprised that sorority i don't know why i didn't think that sorority specifically would have actually not that they wouldn't have done it but i didn't think they would have gone to the whole like drink uh, giving alcohol to minors but then again it's college well all it takes is a is a few bad apples to spoil the pot yeah yeah you're right also people are more take a lot more people are willing to do more things the more people that they're around especially when it comes to friends no, yeah so, yeah, especially, that, you know, especially if it's friends, good. like if me and you, if it's, you told me to, it's a party organization. It, yeah, true. God, I won't even say a fraternity or sorority because it just kind of comes with that entire subsection of you know Greek life. If it's a party organization, they're more than likely going to be more banned or more, you know, I guess. Um, what's the word? What's the word? Or um, affluent to doing more. You know, negative consequence anti type things. No, yeah. Yeah, more, you know, <laughs> things that don't align, you know, align with the organization. Fair it, enough. You know, it makes sense. Because people would pretty much join those party frats and party of sororities to do just that party. See, the thing is, it's so, it surprises you know, me because it's that, Nothing against that, you know, go... Do whatever, I don't care. Fucking head. I don't care, but... If you get in trouble, though, don't get mad at me. No, yeah, you know, that kind of comes with a stick you burn. See, that's that's kind of the whole... Sh sometimes the shtick I pull on YouTube is I tell them, I'll tell you to do whatever you want. However, you cannot get mad at me, because I've told you there is consequences. No, yeah, I'm an internet personality. You can't get dead. Yeah, it's a full fucking, you know, full fucking Wizard of Oz shit. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. God, actually, no, no, no. There was, okay, there's a book I have that I bought that's a psychological manual for bipolar disorder, but it's also a manual for, it, it's specifically for bipolar people to use, but it's a counseling manual for relationships, for mindfulness, for kind of just being, you know, thinking more about your person, how to be better and like social skills, stuff like that. Any sort of behavioral improvement that book has, I have to tell, I told them, in my first video I did with it, I told them, you cannot, I told them, if you, you cannot come back here and tell me, oh, my life didn't get better, because I told them, this is not, this, I'm not telling you your life is going to get better. I'm just saying this is good advice to maybe just listen to, think about. I'm not guaranteeing anything. I am not legally allowed to even really, I think, even do this under the guise of being a professional. I'm telling you I'm not. I've told you this. I'm just, however, going to tell you what essentially what might possibly be a $300 visit. But I also tell... Oh, yeah. And God. Again, you know, if someone takes you seriously and it helps them out, good. Oh yeah, no, that's that's why I tell them I'm like the benefit of knowing that you know you help someone, but in the end, if it doesn't help someone, again, you really shouldn't have any consequences because you are literally a 
<laughs> yeah, I, no, no, no. I know what I. No internet personality. Yeah, and that's why I tell them. That's why I no make. No one fucking knows who you are. I, I lit. I Maybe literally. Know your first and last name, but that's about it. Oh no, they don't even know my. I think they know my first name. I've only said my name is hey, Vlad. I I, you your first name a few times. I've said my. I've said my name is Vladimir, and that is all. Oh. oh. Hey. So you haven't said your name then. No, because I'm very. Your full name. No, because. Your full legal name and your favorite most favorite um the most widest thing ten you can numbers and favorite 16 <laughs> numbers followed by favorite four numbers separated by a slash and your third favorite three number digit you haven't said those yet right <laughs> no look i know i you, look look, look there's a got, you, know, you, you know why i did that you know what i'm saying there no oh I'm is that just is that just your social security yeah, yeah that's what i thought your number i knew that's your expiration date and your security number on your credit card i knew that's what Everything you were talking you about to take someone's identity please take his identity he really isn't using it well <laughs> oh i mean <laughs> what you mean i'm not using it well i'm using it right now motherfucker. you've seen the things you do <laughs> hey pointing, don't 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 tell me point in contact this conversation right now <laughs> Literally, when I post this, and the team, hopefully, somewhere along the lines, ten people watch this and go, "Yeah, the other guy has a good point. Will has a good point here. We need to steal his identity." Damn, Brandon's not really doing good in life. We need to steal his identity. It's not. Oh, you just said your name. Oh, Fuck. Get it now. Well, they know my name. Oh no. Okay, but they don't know my Look emails. On, yeah, on Google now. Google oh well, well, hey, hey. Do you know what the saddest thing is? I have said that on um, college, so they, who knows? So not college, no, 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 no. Like but I've it? said the college. I, I, I hey, said college we've said it before here, just in this conversation. Oh, uh, we have. Yeah, oh, I think I've said it once. So we're actually all lying about the entire time. We do not go to Clemson. <laughs> Definitely do not go to Clemson University. Absolutely not. Do not go to Clemson University. <laughs> Don't. Ask them for a will and a Brandon, if you do, you will get stabbed. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. By engineering students and by a lot of farmers. <laughs> by they're a lot of risky people. By farmers, I love that. Not Bill, even. So you do know how Clemson started, right? I, I think a bunch of farmers, yeah. So yeah, so Clemson is the agricultural college of South that would that makes so much fucking sense though. Look. If you want to be a farmer, go you here. Go to Clemson to get your agriculture science. I thought it was to party you until a you can. Bachelor degree in agriculture science. I thought it was to party so much that you eventually you know flunk out and realize mm, I can't do this. No, that's Appalachian State. <laughs> in any satellite college. Damn! Shit! I thought that was I thought that was community. I mean, yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry. Any, okay, okay, I rephrase YouTube. I actually really like the idea of community community college because I think no. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's efficient. It's affordable. I think right now though, Usually it would be better. The best I I mean, right now I think it's better. I mean. Would you rather get driven through Spartanburg lately? <laughs> no, I don't ever plan on going to Spartan. No offense, Spartanburgers, but <laughs> Spartanburgers. No, they know. No, they know. They okay. know. Hey, I'm sorry, but I don't ever plan on coming to your shit show. Sorry, Spartanburg. God. Oh, they don't fucking want you there. <laughs> we don't want you there. Do you think we want you to come here? Exactly. Yeah. The only reason why there's a, a USD update is to. Fucking God! Basically, visit USD update. God, you're right though, man. I mean, I don't think there's any actual profession that they're really good at. You know, community college in all senses. You know what's sad is that. I mean, if you want to go to business, you go to USC. If you want to go into education, you go to Winthrop. If you want to go into engineering, you go to. To Clemson, if you want to go be a doctor or spend a lot of money, go to Furman. You want to go party and have an STD? Go to um, Coastal. Yeah. 
Oh my god, okay, as much as I love YouTube, YouTube's gonna have to- I mean, to be fair, the one thing I do like about being a small-ass little channel is that YouTube cannot, or at least will not do jack shit about it because you, you're not, you're off the radar. They, they can't do anything because they don't even know you exist. You know what? I love it. I'm going to make sure that your channel is so pros you know, so profitable that YouTube has to do something. <laughs> Dude. Then we all get canceled. Okay, get so... Set like cease and desist letter. No, cease and desist. Oh, fucking cease shit. Cease and desist. Shut up. No. Shit. Shut up. No. No, I don't want Dream. I'm sorry, Dream. I don't hate you, but get the fuck out. I will do this myself. I don't. Okay. I don't even. I know that there's like a whole stick with Dream right now. I don't care, but. I do know that he's been getting a lot of shit, and I'm over here like, look, I so half and half, half people hate him, half people like him. I'm over here like, just so I don't care. Here's the thing: is that people don't really hate dream. Hmm. What? 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 Dream stands. They hate dream. What? They hate dream stands. Oh, they fucking hate those motherfuckers. Dream stands. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Like, what? What? You know that. So Dream Stand, Strip Stands, is someone who has a abnormal taste for Dream. Oh. And I thought, like, you know, everyone who subscribes to Dream is a Dream Stand. I'm not talking, like, you know, the, you know that's a oh. like, you know, go-to phrase of people who, you know, subscribe to him. Like, oh, you, know, you mean people, Judai people. Bro Army. You mean Judai people. No. Worse. How? How? What do you mean, worse? Like, um, it's probably been about two or three weeks at most mm, damn. since Dream has done a face with him, right? Yeah. Damn. I you. There have already been fun tributes. There have already been what? Say it. Say it with me now. Mm -hmm. I don't know you've heard me. I, I, I sometimes contribute. Contribute? No. Come. Oh. Tribute. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, YouTube. Really enjoy this next conversation. Um. So you're. Okay. If you've already heard about this now, I'm sorry that I'm breaking the news <laughs> right now. That fucking hey. dream stands are weird. I'm sorry to break this shit down to you, but they're fucking weird. And if you are a dream stand, try to turn your life back in order. It's not too late. Um, Take a 180, please. Go reconcile with your father. Um, they just wait. be out getting milk at the seven. Wait, 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 wait. They don't have. They don't know who um, their father yeah, is. Shut up. Criminal registration is probably there. Um, you probably should just automatically I swear do that. To God, things get better. You get back you now. You know, on the right track, go touch grass. One thing I could be very nice. That's quite like, comfortable, surprisingly. Um, read this thing that we like to call oxygen, not your own skin and fat that keeps circulating in your fucking room. Just, just you know, do something for yourself. <laughs> I do. I hope you know that this is single-handedly the reason why I like calling you right is because we go into conversation. Oh yeah, I'm aware. Hey, you enjoy it too. I think. I hope. I hope I don't do this single-handedly. I really hope you enjoy this. I mean, I shit you not. If things go down the thing, I'm going to a fucking comedy club. <laughs> hey, you, that's why I like you as a friend. Not just because you're funny, but you're also a good friend. But it's just the fact of me and you click so much on just all the shit. Or at least in the fu at least in humor, we are the fucking we are good. But we, it's so rare to meet someone who just goes back and forth. So well, or at least I think it's been a while. God, ah, shit, oh, sold the wrong one. But okay, so back to the yeah, sure. Okay. Oh wait, come stand. Oh, come tribute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come tribute. Come tribute. So, <laughs> never about a week since you know God. Dream. Dream did a face reveal. God, obviously it's... because Dream stands are fucking weirdos. God. They did it, you know, fucking come tribute uh, to them. It was. That's something. Some, that's something, man. I, I'm not gonna lie. People that's... watched it, either out of morbid curiosity <laughs> or because they were 
think is doing the exact same thing. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I love that so but, much. But that is one of the most recent uh, observations on proving that dream stands are weird. The less recent ones uh-uh. is um hearing that you can make fun of a dream stand like we're doing now. <laughs> Uh, I can try. Um, you will be roasted on Twitter. Wait, 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 wait. Someone thinks they can roast me on Twitter, even though I don't even. Well, I don't do that much on Twitter. Well, I love that. I yeah, love. Like, I love that. Um, love that. No, so they'll fucking roast the shit out of you. They'll, like do all this shit. They'll bully you. They'll make fucking fun of you. And I'm like, I love literally coming over a guy. I love that. I, I mean, love the fact that you would think yeah, that. Not even like you know the fucking idea of a guy. No, no, no. Coming over his fucking photo. To be, f- he's not even there. <laughs> in fact, in fact, he's probably doing that. You're coming over a fucking poorly drawn fan art. Cause that's just, cause that's just fan art of dream. Stop! Stop! It's literally poorly drawn fan art. Not this fucking logo. Stop proving us right, please. Stop proving us right. I mean. I mean, if you're fucking good at everything, fucking pop up like a fucking photo of fucking dreams profile package. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, God. Chris, your fucking three year old drew it. He was like, good enough. Oh, no. Oh, that works for you. That's sad. That's sad. That's sad. I, I know we live in a time of the internet. And I know people have always been weird. That, that's a given, it's humanity. But, 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 there ha- there has to be a limit. I mean, if you're at least, at least a video or his leg- or legitimate, uh, I, I don't know, man. Especially if it's something that YouTube has done or just, it, it, if it's just people doing it for the sake of people, I'm going to really question the hobbies you have. And I know I can't really say that much. I'm literally a YouTuber, <laughs> but, or trying to be. You're part of the problem. <laughs> One day, one day, you start off, you know, as a small, small time, a YouTuber, you know, doing shit like this, you know, doing Minecraft, a speedrun, <laughs> the next day, fucking come tributes, who knows? You, you think I would ever steep low enough for come tributes? Uh, uh, you're not after <laughs> Oh, you mean that it would just happen? You're not you. doing them yourself. Oh, people are doing it without any authority. Oh, okay. See, that's where they're no, just doing it. See, that is where my li- like that's where my line is drawn. Out on stage and went hello. Um, and then, oh, and then someone just did it. Uh, uh, I, would really, I would really like just come on my picture of my face. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, that's Please and thank you. Please and thank you. I'm all come will be welcome. Uh, no, no, it will not. Oh, no, like he's not saying that. People are just going out of their fucking way to do it. Just why it's funny. God, that's it's funny, but it's one of those things of like, look, I I know we have our timeline. I know it's the timeline we live in. But can we please not? Can I? Can we not? God. Look. To be fair, this is kind of the content I want. It's just me and you just busting balls, kind of like a random podcast, collab, whatever the hell you want to call it. Just call, that's it. That's all I want. It's just me and you busting balls of random people and just talking. But man, do I ever do I ever want to be in a situation where someone goes, oh yeah, I like him, and then just go on YouTube and go, hey, look at this, what I made. And then you realize it's a shit statue. Uh, oh, I'm a shit statue. Hey. I'm dedicated to my favorite Minecraft fucking YouTuber, Skyvis Minecraft. <laughs> Shut oh, God, fuck. no. Shut the fuck up. No, we are not bringing him back. We are letting him die. Didn't, didn't Dream do fucking Minecraft or something? I don't even... See, the thing is, I am so out of touch. That's of, Dream's entire thing. Look... I, I hope his whole shit. look I am out of the like re- of the realm of what people are doing I just know the news of who's getting hurt that's all I care about I don't care about what the people are actually doing yeah like fucking fine brothers that's right now. Like fucking try guys what yeah, the that's f- them that's who, the guys who the hell are those 
What the hell is even yeah. that? Have you ever heard the Chai Guys before? Nah. Sadly. Yeah, it's fucking like the, the bulge and like fucking like, you know, fucking YouTube tea. Um, so the Chai Guys mm -hmm. are these four guys. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Can, can we call them guys? Um, Yes, we can. Mm, okay. Um, four guys who started a YouTube channel when you know BuzzFeed was a reputable news channel. Um, Very reputable. Huh. And um, they did a bunch of things. You know, they tried you know, a bunch of different things. They did all of the stuff. You know, they tried different things. They you know tried to cook without a recipe. Many different things. Um, they went on many different adventures, and one of them. As a wife mm. and a kid, mm -hmm. you know, you know, uh, this this gentleman I put his name, but was like the epitome of like the YouTube family. You know what you wanted to have if you were a family on YouTube. Mm. You know the kids weren't involved, the wife was you know rarely involved, and only the guy was the you know the social entity mm. on the internet. Mm. You know. They sometimes made a co-appearance or something like that, but they were pretty much held off to the side because that's what they wanted to be. Mm. Well, come out in the past couple of weeks, um, right after a very nice gentleman by the name of Adam Levine mm. got ousted for having an affair with his, you know, you know, on his wife. Mm. So it turns out. And this gentleman from the Try Guys was also having an affair with his wife. And no one knew about it. Oh my god, wow. No one knew about it. Oh my god, wow. This all came to light. Hmm. He's now getting cancelled. I mean, yeah. Fucking, the fucking Try Guys are currently exploding for some reason. You know, both in views and in you know, fucking membership. <laughs> you know, the fucking four four as well. You know, they're just fucking dying. And people here are just sitting back and watching the fireworks. Mm-hmm. Because it's funny. See, that's all I want to do. That's what me and you, I think. Because here's the thing. is that the fucking Shry guys are literally... No, 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 we're not having a fucking affair. We're not doing that shit. No, no, no. No. no mm-mm. 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 <laughs> But yeah, so that's just what's fucking going down, you know. And yeah, it's like fucking funny as hell to watch these people just fucking explode because the YouTube personality, you know, fame, I guess, went to the head, had an affair, and got caught. Mm. And you know, here's the thing: is that the Try Guys are probably one of the most genuinely humble and nice internet personalities. At least from the screen that you'll see. Ah, uh, see, that's interesting. Uh, no yeah, offense, like, no offensive. Sure. That it's interesting because th that's essentially, yeah, from what we can tell recently, yeah. that everyone essentially, uh, they're nice at the beginning or whatever, but somehow something snaps and everyone thinks they're God. No, 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 no. Well, no, 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 no. I, I don't think that's the case. You know, you just fucking, you, know, you just had an affair. You know, that's still bad to some degree, but, you know, it's not like he fucking took his wife and child and made them fucking be like sex slaves because he thought he was God. No, this dude didn't start fucking cold. He just had an affair with a chick. Constantly ain't that. You know, that's not the worst thing you could do. No, 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 no. Go ahead, don't get me wrong. <laughs> See, that's such a... Mm. It's... It... I don't ever want to be in that situation, God forbid. I'm not I don't even find myself yeah. to, I don't find myself to be that kind of person, but you know, who yeah, know who not, knows? Maybe I'll eat my words. It's not that bad a scenario. It could be worse. Who knows? It I, is bad, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Do not cheat on your on you know, on your wife and your child. Mm -hmm. Do not cheat on your significant other in any way, shape, or form. People, listen to him. Well, He's smart. Frankly, that's not nice. <laughs> frankly, that's not children. A nice thing to do. Sorry, children, it's not nice to do. God, you know, fine. If you haven't already figured that out, if you are currently cheating on your significant other, 
You might want to stop. I want to let you know that you're currently scum of the earth. <laughs> and remember, this is the smart guy. I'm not that smart. This is big brain boy over I'm here. I'm not that smart either. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Just don't fucking... Just, just, just don't fucking cheat on your wife. God, it's... Don't the, fucking cheat on people. Hey, how about we don't... How about we do that common sense thing where you just don't do stupid shit? Okay, guys? Yeah, sure. You can fucking fucking lie to them you know lying is a healthy human activity you know just don't turn it into this whole fucking escapade where people can't tell if you're lying or not and the second that happens it looks like that you're a fucking psychopath i mean yeah it's i just i just it's all this stuff about youtube that i'm just like i don't listen or i just i'm just out of the loop because i don't even listen to people I don't follow what's trending, because I don't care, usually. Because something, 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 something's gonna happen, blah, blah, blah. Do I ever want to be famous? Not necessarily famous, I just want my little community. Do I hope I never get a big head because of it? Absolutely, I would never hope that I would ever become an asshole because of it. Do I still want to grow? Yeah, yeah you can't become an asshole because it's really an asshole. Damn it, you're right. I can't become something that I already am, man. Yeah, yeah, you can get worse. <laughs> you can become a worse yeah. asshole. You can you definitely can get arguably worse than you already are. <laughs> oh, I love the logic behind it. Absolutely. What? What happened? No, there's this fucking dead bird. <gasps> I'm assuming got. That smacked into the fucking window, like the fucking imprint. Man, that makes, me, that makes me bad. Why did he have to go? Why, why, Lord? Why? Because it's a fucking bird or fucking dumb. I mean, yeah, you're they, right. They literally have a fucking brain the size of a pea. <laughs> they <laughs> are what that, we call high intelligence. Birds. They are what we call high intelligence. Supposedly. Oh. They wish. Birds are fucking geniuses. You ever see a bird fucking smack into a window? Oh, they just fucking sit there. They know what they did. They, they know exactly. Reflect. They know exactly. They act, but they fucking reflect Birds aren't real. Shit. Birds aren't real. We all know this. Well, that one was. <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> yeah. Except for a few yeah, seconds ago. Anymore, but it was. Not anymore. God, I love that. Man, mm. Man fuck Winthrop. Fuck school. Can't know that Winthrop shit all. It's a great place. I, I want everyone to go there because it's a great place. There is absolutely so no problems there. Uh, technically, I am still a... Uh, a well, you I, are a great a person. representative of the, uh, of the, uh, the school. So I don't think you are a representative. Of the, I cannot say that. I don't think you're a representative of that school at all whatsoever. Other than... No, the, other I than, am. Other than, like, you pay to go there, yes. But I... No, no, I actually get paid by the school to do a job, so I'm a fucking, rep fucking representative of God, the school. God, stop doing that. Stop. I doing that. can't, because it, it aligns with my major. Ah, yeah, you're right. Mm, darn. Sorry, guys. He represents It's also me. good to have on a resume. Fair enough. <laughs> so, damn, damn, this boy is... Due to a contract that I signed, I cannot say that Winthrop is a fucking... Hellhole that will suck out your fucking, you know, entire soul. But I can say <laughs> that at times, that at times, mm. higher education feels like a scam. No offense, but with the fact. Not saying all institutions. No, not all. Not all. Definitely some more than others. Uh, call, call, stop. Definitely a uh, few sorry. Definitely have the, uh. Clemson. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. I want to say Sick. the, uh. Please stop joking on dick while I'm trying to make a point. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's just so many. Come on in. Balex, I'm at but the bridge. Hello. There are some higher institutions that just fucking suck out your well-being. I'm not saying that Winthrop is one of them. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely I would not. never say such a thing. I'm saying that some do have that trend. Yeah. And uh, some are more obvious than others. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying exactly which one of any, but some are. 
Hey, you know what's great about being a graduate and not being legally liable to the school? Yeah, they sell gas. 100%. Yeah, I can't say that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I do not have a feeling towards that matter at all. Oh, no, absolutely, right? I can just say that, you know, in the end, um... It's a school. I know that for a fact that my degree, in the end, will make me more desirable at, you know, as a candidate for any job. Hey. Hey, you know what? Hey, they said the same thing about me too. And you know what I? You went into psychology. You definitely know there's gonna be fucking Barbie stuff. Shut up. I didn't think that. Hey, you knew that fucking going into that. No, I didn't know that going into that. I thought it was gonna be. Oh yeah. I thought it was pancakes and rainbows. I didn't know that it. It was rainbows, a lot of them right now, but I didn't know that life and was going to- in fact, the majority of fucking campus is actually gluten-free. <laughs> oh god, really? See, when I went to Wonka, I thought I could get a bachelor's in psychology and be like, you know what, I'm gonna go start- not start, but like, you know, assist someone and just slowly make my way. Nope. Absolutely not. You Half are... that happened. Huh? Half that happened. Half of that, yeah, yeah I graduated. I graduated. You got a bachelor's. Everything did, else is currently out of the fucking window. <laughs> did they? Did they ever? Did they ever explain to me that you, as, if you go into this major, you have? When I say have to, you have to essentially get your master's and/or doctorate. And with that, not only that, but you are wasting another like six years of your life because you also have to pass said graduate and ma and doctorate, which. That's not a guarantee. You also have to get accepted, which is not a guarantee. They essentially said, hey, this is a good major if you want to really try hard. Really, really want to try hard. And you know what I'm not? I try hard. Because I don't believe in... Well, I don't believe in the college and institution that much anymore. Well, big sad. Well, here's the reason why that, you know... I'm kind of on a fence of higher education, especially in my field, because for posterity's sake. I mean, for some all places, I get it. Up there, all three. Of them. Um, uh, I'm going into the field of education. Oh yeah, and, you're um, going to be needed forever, but you're going to be South Carolina. Shit. In what's that? Oh yeah, you're you're always going to be been be needed. Shut up. No, yeah, but you no, literally no, are a necessity. Education, especially in the state of South Carolina. Um, they passed a law a couple of years ago, basically allowing anyone who wants to complete a certificate. Doesn't even have to go to four-year school, just have to get a fucking background check and, you know, have to be somewhat knowledgeable in their field by the end of five years. Um, okay. they are allowed to teach. You know... They're literally allowed to teach. You know... any South Carolina school. Um, you know what's... Thank you for telling me that. You want to know why? I would very much what enjoy. I would very much enjoy um, teaching psychology in school. No, yeah, and that's the thing is that that's what kind of pisses me off now is that you know, in full honesty, I could just drop out right now and just start. Yeah, if you really want, and just be a teacher right now. I already have a majority of the content field that I need. And I can learn the rest on my way. I just you know, is it like going to school and learning it all on yourself? Yes, but I'll be getting. Actual work time experience. And you also get paid for it. And, yeah, I'll get paid for it. I just realized. And, yes, higher education and college and, you know, our university does offer different, you know, abilities, skill sets, and experiences that are helpful and different in multiple different experiences. But, I could be making about 30 grand a year right now. On a salary, and after 20 to 30 years, I get a South Carolina state pension. Mm. I could do that right now. But I'm getting my fucking master's degree because mm -hmm. that way I'll get bumped into another fucking pay bracket as an education. Either you work two jobs and you're poor. <laughs> Shut up. Stop or attacking me. You can get a master's degree work one job and you're a little bit less poor yeah remember you don't Those get more poor you don't get less poor you just get a little bit more money 
So the point of the story is I had to marry Rich. <laughs> Me and you both. Unless... I'd be, uh, Unless you are rich, motherfucker. Okay, no, 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 no. My parents are better off. Okay, fine. You will be rich in twenty to thirty years. Okay, probably. Gotta fucking play the long game. Start taking out fucking fucking life insurance. You know what's really? Don't do anything. You know what's really sad? Just fucking wait the clock. You know what's really? Take the knee. Take the time. You know that's. That's the saddest thing is that I love my parents and I don't ever want to make them feel like, yeah, I'm going to take your money. But obviously, if they pass away and have to and they have to leave something behind. And if my dad really is the man he is and he does all the investments in the retirement and he does. um, There is a small chance. I it's not that I wouldn't have to work, but if I was smart and I really put in heavy investments and I was smart and, you know, did a lot of savings. I could probably have lived, I, if I'm, if I have the money I have now, did investments, and then, you know, 20 years from now, get enough, and dad gave me his investments, and grandma gave me her investments if she passes, investment type of ideas, there is a, there is a possibility when I am 40 or 50, I would probably, I could probably live off a $15 hour job doing 40 hours, and that would be it, I probably wouldn't have to, even off of that, I probably wouldn't have to think about anything. Now. Well, no, at the very least, you know, at the very least, you know, if your parents keep the rate what they currently are, mm-hmm. you know, more than likely they are. Yeah, but probably. Just over the very limited experience, other than how we can call it, um, he seems like a man who's not, you know, willing to give up, at least with, you know, what you said. No, um, he's a motherfucking workaholic, man. Yeah, no, so as long as he doesn't fucking take out a goddamn reverse mortgage on his house. <laughs> Then, at the very least, you have what? You have two siblings, one sibling? Uh, one sibling, Vico, yeah. But no, yeah. Yeah, so you have a 50 50 chance of getting a house that you really need to pay state taxes on. Actually, from my understanding, they're going to. No mortgage. From my understanding, they're going to try and sell this house when he retires in possibly four years. But. That's where I'm like, I hopefully I get my grandma's house. So yes, I will possibly get a house out of this somewhere. Well, yeah, but at the same time, they'll fucking have a house that they have. Mm-hmm. You no, know, very good chance that and where they go, they could very well so pay, you know, full cash on it and not take out a mortgage and fully pay it off. They have a fucking you know, a house that is fully fine on through them. Then when they die, very well have a house with no mortgage. Mm-hmm. And at that point, that becomes pure investment. Oh, yeah. That means pure investment. There's no money you have to spend. There's, well, there's money you have to spend, but there's no, you know, money that you're not going to get back. Mm. But you don't have to pay a mortgage, you don't have to pay different things, you just have to pay state taxes on. Mm. Oh, God, state taxes. But you know, frankly, it's probably no more than two or three grand a year. Yeah, probably you know, not It's not a lot. Not compared to how much the house, I guess, would be, so yeah. Right, that, that's land, pretty yeah. good. <laughs> that's pretty so solid. You're basically paying for the land to some degree, but at the same point, you're just paying some taxes on and then you, know, you live in it a few years, you can rent it out, you can you know, I would do, do a reverse mortgage on it. You can sell the son of a bitch. It's pure so, equity. As stupid as I am, because I'm not an economics person, on reverse reverse mortgage, what is that? Or is mortgage just the so, bill of the house? Okay, so mortgage is is a mortgage can happen one of like three different ways. One, a mortgage is essentially a loan used for oh, housing. Oh, okay. Not really apartments, more of like permanent dwellings that you pay for. It's basically okay. a large sum of money that you pay off. 30 to 60 years that you pay depending on, you know, time and, you know, the type of investment that you make around 6 to 10 percent in interest that you're paying off about 30 to 40 years. Essentially, essentially it's a loan to buy a house. Mm-hmm. And yeah. You also pay to build a house, but you know, at that point, you're taking out loans when you're taking out a mortgage. Yeah. The second way to do a mortgage is that you basically take a loan out on your house as your house acting as the equity. Mm. 
So essentially, your house has a set price. Someone comes out uh, to the house, house and values it, and the bank takes that value and says, "Yeah, so we can give you X amount of money, X amount of interest, and you pay that off to full completion. And if not, take the house." Hmm. Okay. Interesting. And the third way we're going to do a mortgage thing. I don't know. Mortgages. <laughs> third way I would do a mortgage. This one is you know, kind of weird to do, but um, essentially what you're doing is that you know you're taking out a loan to. No, no, yeah. But technically, you could you know, also refinance your mortgage, which is you know the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Basically, you're taking out a mortgage for your mortgage. At a lower interest rate. Oh, that's oh wow, that's oof. And 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 that's how and that's how refinancing works. Mm. You no, know, it, you know it's the exact same thing with any loan. Essentially, you go to another establishment, you show them, hey, this is how much money I owe. I need you to pay this much money now. Then I'll start paying. You. Wait, wait, wait. So you literally mean it is a loan for a loan. Yes, that's Oh my what god, that's fucking is. stupid. I mean, I get it. I get it. Essentially, you're taking a loan and moving it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's you exactly know, what you're you doing. You can't have... Well, you can, but you really don't want to have two loans out on the exact same thing. No. You use the money that you get from one loan, pay off the other loan. And you start paying off that other loan at usually a lower interest rate. Mm. Fair enough. Sometimes, yeah. you know, depending on your credit or the economy, it may be about the same, it's a bit lower, but you know, usually it's lower because you have less of a principal to pay off. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. That's how refinance works. But yeah, and that's how a mortgage works. Now, a reverse mortgage, it's essentially, the bank takes a mortgage out on your home, mm -hmm. and they're paying you a set amount of money per month to eventually at the end of a time period which is usually less than you know what you pay for the mortgage probably around 10 to 15 years mm -hmm. and at the end of that time period they own the house ah uh, yeah 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 oh why? so basically it's a way to get a a certain yeah, it's a way to get equity for your house mm -hmm. over time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're on retirement and you need to sell your house, but you don't need to sell the house right now because you really don't want to buy, you know, in this you know, <laughs> this market and all this stuff. What do you mean in this beautiful market? Market where a fucking house costs a few grand? Spider fucking now, rent? Eh? No, thank you. Um, what if I was a great day? Market. Studio apartment. Glad to have Clay. Seems pretty capable. Two grand. No, um, but Beautiful. essentially they pay you money to buy your house over a small period of time. Well, a smaller period of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that we know and yeah, usually the reason why people take out reverse mortgages is because they're on retirement. Mm. Oh, it you makes know, sense, yeah. They're going to die eventually. They're not going to need the house. Again. You know, after oh, they no. I'm about to die. They're Where not going to be buried with the house. <laughs> They're not gonna fucking dig the house up board by board, put it in the grave, fucking say, here you go, bud, you live with your house now, you're good to go. No, no, they fucking buy the house. Yeah. And essentially, it's the long, drawn out process of buying a house. Interesting. Honestly, kind of cool, really, really intuitive, but it's a niche thing that people rarely hear about. It's honestly not kind of worth 